So watchOS is moving forward really quickly, and I'm very excited to introduce watchOS 4 today. This furthers the areas that people love and also introduces new ways to make the watch more personal to you. Let's start with watch faces. Now, Apple Watch is great for quickly glancing at information, and many people are using a watch face like this today. And now you need to choose what information shows up here. So for example, weather, calendar, and workouts, or maybe you'd like to look at the date and reminders and sunset. The information that you'd like to see actually varies based on time and your location and your routines. What if we could actually show you a selection of information that you might need automatically? Well, Siri is becoming more and more a proactive assistant, knowing what information you need, when you need it. And we've created a new watch face, which is powered by Siri intelligence. This is the new Siri watch face. Now, it automatically displays the information that's most relevant to you. And you can also access Siri just by tapping on the new complication on the top left. And it automatically displays this information with the same type of intelligence we've applied on iOS. We're using machine learning to adapt automatically based on your routines and the apps that you use when you use them. So in the morning, I might see, for example, commute time and my first meeting. And if I rotate the crown, I can see more information from Siri. For example, reminders or even photo memories from this same time last year or maybe from this location. And throughout the day, whenever you raise your wrist, the face will dynamically update with information for you. So for example, at noon, I might see a reminder to make a call, and I might get a pass to a flight that I'm taking that afternoon. So relevant passes and wallet can appear here right in the face, including from third-party apps. Now at the end of the day, I might see what time the sun's gonna set, and also I can get access to controls I tend to use in the home app at night. So this is an intelligent, proactive assistant right on your wrist, and this is the new Siri face on Apple Watch. Now sometimes you might like kind of less information and more graphics, and that's the soul of the new kaleidoscope face. It displays a beautiful symmetrical pattern that slowly changes throughout the day. And you can rotate the crown and you can get this kind of trippy effect whenever you want. And there's multiple styles you can choose from. So for example, if you use a photo like this, you can create a variety of kaleidoscope styles. This is the new kaleidoscope face. Now Mickey and Minnie have been a big hit on Apple Watch and more characters have been working to find their way in. And I'm really excited to welcome Woody and Jesse and Buzz. They're gonna be right at home inside the watch and they're so much fun. And whenever you raise your watch with the Toy Story face, you're gonna see a variety of vignettes, kind of like this. <laughs> There's a lot of hijinks going on in there. Um, so these are three really lively new faces in watchOS. Siri face, kaleidoscope, and Toy Story. Now let's talk about activity. Apple Watch has already been helping many people improve their health and fitness, and activity is one of the most frequently used apps on the watch. In watchOS 4, activity notifications are more personalized to you to help you close your rings more often. So you might start off each day with some inspiration by receiving an update like this. This lets you know if you're close to accomplishing an achievement or what you can do to match yesterday's goals. And these are all personalized to you. And as part of this smarter coaching, we're also introducing monthly challenges. And these challenges are designed to help you either beat or repeat something that you accomplished or came close to doing, and they're all achievable because they're based on your real history. And like every great coach, we wanna celebrate your success. So we've added a little bit more fun when you close your rings or earn an achievement. So you'll get smaller celebrations for everyday successes and bigger celebrations for harder to reach milestones. Now we've also enhanced the workout app to be even easier to use and more powerful. Starting with the new UI, where quick starts right up front, you can just tap and go, it's much easier, and customers have really loved the new swimming capabilities in Series 2. And we're now enhancing the pool swim workout with auto sets. So just by taking a rest at the edge of the pool, will automatically mark each set of swimming that you're doing. And at the end, you'll even get your distance for each stroke type and your pace for each set that you're doing. And we also are creating, it's great, the pool swim thing is very popular. We've also created some custom motion and heart rate algorithms for a new workout type called high intensity interval training. Now this is one of the most popular workouts in the world, so we know it's gonna be a favorite for a lot of you when you start using it. Now if you like to do more than one workout in a row, it's now super easy to just swipe over during a current workout and then add another one by pressing the plus button. So you just press plus and I can continue with another workout. For example, I might do some outdoor cycling here. I just tap and I continue. Super easy now to do multiple workouts in a single session. 
Now let's take a look at this. To give you a quick demo of WatchOS 4, please welcome Vera Carr from the Watch and Health Engineering team. Thank you, Kevin. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here. The first thing I want to show you is the new dock. I can now vertically scroll through my recently used apps, like the new music app. Using the dock makes finding the apps I'm looking for easier than ever. Next, let's look at the new intelligent Siri watch face. Here in the warm morning, I could see things like the weather for today and my upcoming events. Later today, I'm heading back to San Francisco to see my parents. And in the afternoon, the Siri face will proactively update to tell me how long it'll take me to get there. Tonight, we're going to see the new Alien movie, which I'm super excited about. No one spoil it for me. For any content in the Siri face, I can tap directly into the app for more details. Here, for example, the Siri face has my tickets, so tonight I can just raise my wrist, and with one tap, they'll be ready. The Siri face also shows me timely content like photo memories and news. Here's a news headline picked for me by the brand new news app now available on Apple Watch. In the app, I can view stunning photos, glance at top news stories throughout the day, and save them for later to be read on my phone. We've also integrated our new activity coaching notifications directly into the Siri face. Now, when it's near the end of your day, or you're close to closing your rings, our coaching algorithms will tell you how much you need to walk to hit your move goal. I did a lot of nervous pacing before this, so now I just need to take a 16 minute walk. Let's close those rings. We've added something new here in Workout that's really cool. Music instantly gets me motivated, and now in WatchOS 4, I can pick a playlist that automatically starts with my workout. Let's do it. And when I'm in a workout, I can quickly swipe to the left and control my music right here. <laughs> These are only a few of the new features in watchOS 4. I can't wait for you to try it out.